Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> hey, uh, great night's sleep. Nice and cool. Ah, oh, wonderful. Uh, got up about 5.30, packed up 6.15 now. I'm on the trail, heading north. We got about a, uh-oh, swampy, 16-mile day. That'll take me into Bennington, Vermont, which uh, I will get a hotel at. <clears throat> I have a resupply box there with new shoes. But one of the important things that's going to be exciting is in a couple miles, I'll be leaving Massachusetts and entering Vermont. So that'll be... A wonderful landmark and uh oh all right this is getting complicated to stay dry Ugh. sorry about that <laughs> big wet spot and then I had to find my footsteps to get across it uh, yeah so that'll be a wonderful landmark that'll mean three states to go awesome all right i'm gonna get to hiking i don't know if i said i got about 16 mile day so i'm gonna get it done Okay, everybody, note the mud as we enter Vermont. Ah, Got to get close to the sign, it's all mud. All right, we're in Vermont. Awesome sauce. Three to go. Eleven down. Yes. All right. Been battling muddy trails since I got in Vermont. Look at this. Holy cow. All right, I gotta find a way through it. Looks like they put stones in, but they don't go all the way, so I'll be trapped. We'll figure something out been noticing that the width hobble taking on a purplish color not sure why it is a little bit delightful to see which I think they do that as they start to get ready to shed the leaves so I don't know maybe the drought up till now caused them to Start to prepare for early fall. I don't know. There's a nice big paper birch. 20 inches. 18 inches, I should say. Beautiful forest we're going through. A lot of white birches. Uh... Not too many oaks. That's probably because it's a moist forest and everything out competes them there. So, all right. Heading on. All right. Nice spot. Beautiful view, except for the power lines, of course. But I just had my first lunch right there on the rock. I'm going to move on. I made a reservation at Catamount Hotel. So, I got to get there. That's seven miles. So, we'll make that work. All right. I'm going to get going.
Uh, now that we're at, in Vermont, we're much more into the beech birch maple climax forest. Look at that yellow birch. Got to be a foot and a half, easy. 20 inches, maybe more. Beautiful tree. There's lots of others in the woods. A lot of red maple here, Cause, probably because of the moisture. Red maple is probably one of the amazingly uh, versatile trees. It can grow in a swamp, it can grow in drier soils, sunlight, shade. Pretty amazing. There's one right there. I don't know why it's so white, but. And it makes pretty good syrup, just not as sweet as sugar maple. Alright, got about six miles to go. So, let me get it done. Old beaver meadow. Probably still actively being used, but. By seeing all that grass, you can see it's all filled in with mud and silt. Either that or the water's way down. And only now is refilling. It looks like looks like that's a dam right there. But it's not. I just, maybe the beavers just aren't here anymore. I don't know. Beaver pond. I got a deer fly annoying me. That's him. You saw him. Ow. He's a bold one. Nothing. Catamount Hotel. Oh, you can't see it, but it says no vacs are there. They're booked up. Mm -hmm. This is the room. Not a bad room. Okay. The difficulty is tomorrow is supposed to be pouring rain all day. So, I tried to book a room tomorrow, book the room for tomorrow night, and they didn't have any vacancies. <laughs> but what they do is, they, they have a bunk room. So, I'm going to take a, a bunk in the bunk room and uh, go with that for tomorrow. So, the, the day ahead that I was today will be used up tomorrow. That really stinks. I was hoping to save that day for before I go into the whites. So I'm going to have to push hard to uh, get ahead again so I have a day to spare when I get to the whites. So we'll see what we can do with that. On that note, I'm going to close out, get some sleep. Uh, I'm all set to go. I'm all, I got all my resupply, 
they're working on my laundry right now. The hotel does it for you for five bucks. And uh, that's it. So I'll see you tomorrow.